Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is all about attempting to modify an old Android game that a lot of us uh, hold near and dear to our hearts, just like the Nitto series, Car Town Streets. So I've recently reached out to Miniclip. I figured it doesn't hurt to ask them if they're willing to open source the game. Um, they hold all the rights to the game because they bought it from CIE and I wanted to see if they would, you know, share the files with us, share the game, and go from there. I do not expect to hear back a positive result, just because, you know, who's going to just open source a game these days when they could hold on to the rights of it and re-release it sometime in the future. But, I figured, what's it hurt to try to decompile the game and make it work ourselves? So, first of all... We're going to go through and we're just going to see what the files are inside the APK and how the game is created. The game originally released first on iOS before Android, which does make things a little bit more difficult, but you know, res is just going to be your resources folder. That's for icon images and stuff like that. You don't really need to worry about this folder. Oh, there we go. So the library folder is interesting because it looks like a custom library file, uh, lib game. So we're going to have to open that up in something like IDA Pro or Ghidra. I prefer IDA. Um, it just seems to work better. But we could open it up with HXD to at least see what is in here. The one thing that's important to find in here is going to be um, the actual address for it connecting to the server because we don't actually know what that is so as you can see there is some code in here that's cartown.miniclip.com api slash delete user and I want to copy this damn it Whatever. So what I'm going to do is just see what happens if we go to that URL. All right, it doesn't even try. That's interesting. The other place we can go is archive.org to see if anything got backed up. So cartown.mini clip. Com. miniclippt.com and a better way to search this would be that method but it looks like there's absolutely nothing here for cartown we can run it this way yeah there's nothing here we can even attempt to see if this is still a real thing doesn't look like it it's not loading anything so we're going to check this way, wow, 2013, we're going to see what the robot.txt used to hold. So disallow these kind of user agents, ask Jeeves crawler, oh my god, that shows how old this is. Uh, huh, okay. So there was definitely some stuff here. But it's nothing we can get our hands on because it wasn't allowed to crawl it. Got it. So that URL is basically worthless. So the other way we could actually search this, which might be a little bit smarter, is by Notepad++, since we're looking for text. Now it's going to be a little slower because you don't normally search... Did I freeze? I don't know if I just froze or not. <laughs> You don't normally search this way in tools like this or files like this, but as you can see, this was at least the dev URL. So dev URL isn't exactly important. We need to find, there we go. So we know cgames.com slash cartown streets. That's at least there, which we can go and check out see if that still exists. We'll also do it here because that's going to be fun. And we'll just make this an asterisk. Server not found. I should have figured. But 
we can always view it on archive.org, which is really nice. So if you guys don't remember what this game is, some of you don't remember, this should jog your memory. It was such a cool little game, and I'm glad we have a lot of the cars and stuff, because like we could try to remake the game based off the assets in the APK. Because if you look in the APK and you go to the asset folder, you have so much already here. So there's like all this car town stuff already in here. Uh, unpack. There's the car town fonts, which we really, I, you know me, I love my fonts. Um, there's cars. There is a literal car folder. I don't know why it won't allow us to open the PNG files. There is something about them that it just does not like. And I don't think I've ever figured out a way to open these. It's my favorite file extension right there. Dot hex, because that's exactly how I open it up in a hex editor. So, riff web PVP. Hmm, that's not PNG. Let's try JPG. Maybe WebP? We'll just see what happens. It is WebP, got it. So WebP is how we open these files. Now this is the alpha channel, which is basically for how light is supposed to reflect off of the vehicle. Um, good to know that it's that. And then these plist files, if you don't know iOS very well, are actually very useful. These tell the game how to build the car based off of parts, where to put them, resource size, shadow, paint mask, thumbnail, shadow. This is all the stuff for the specific car, which is pretty nice and makes things pretty easy. But we still want to find where the actual server is. And that's going to be the hard part because if there's anything I remember from doing this with Racing Rivals, we're going to have to modify this in a very smart way. Uh, there's a couple of different ways we could do this. So we could code cave, which would be editing this file in Ghidra or uh, IDA. We could make a custom library file that connects to... Um, that hooks the game and changes a bunch of the links, which might be the smartest method. Or we can physically modify the file itself just in a hex editor and make the URL the same number of characters. And then we just replace everything to link back to uh, here. Now the other nice thing is this game will run on very old versions of Android. So what that generally means is we can go in Actually, we won't do it that way. That's not going to show me what I want. So I have it already decompiled with Andro uh, APK Easy Tool. We can actually go in. We can read this manifest tool to see what the minimum version is for this. I wonder what this is. Interesting. So we can go in here and we can generally see what the minimum version of Android is somewhere in here that the game supports, but I don't see it at the moment, so I'm not going to waste too much time on it. Could also go in through the Smalley and figure things out. Mini clip is where a good chunk of some code is in this game. Millennial Media. That is such a company name right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Or through Android, and that's just support. So that tells us that the majority of the game's code is actually going to be housed in that library file. If we go back, we'll see it here. That tells us everything's in there. But then there's also all the stuff in here for whatever you want to do. I don't know what this is. Interesting that I get that error, but... 
So there is a way to see what minimum version of Android this takes. I just don't remember off the top of my head, but you should be able to run it on like Android 5. And the reason that actually make th makes things easier is you don't have to modify the APK to basically, that's, huh, keyboard hidden, to basically network monitor the game, which is really nice. I would like to know where main activity is. Oh, looks like it's right there. So, would be simple enough to make something that hooks this and go through it and try to make a server. But, wow, my chair is loud. But again, this is a very big file. It'll be much easier to modify with uh, IDA or a custom library so like for example if we did it by custom library or IDA we wouldn't have to worry about how long this string is as we can see that's all the terms of service stuff that's C games that's just open SSL stuff that's not important win image okay we can see what all their stuff is. It's kind of sucks. This isn't uh, this isn't um, Unity 3D. It would make life so much easier. But that's also okay. So that's the only HTTPS that actually makes our lives very easy for modding this game. If it's only HTTP. So the easy way to go about trying to forward this to a different server would be just editing your host file and then point it towards your server, or we make the custom files to do it. So I'm gonna work on that, see if I can get a server working at all and monitor the game, and then we'll go from there. I'm not promising anything, I'm not a server developer normally, but I really want to have some sort of at least idea server to make this game work again. It'll be really interesting to see how it runs on Android 11. Actually, I haven't even, I have it installed on my phone. It did not give a warning on my phone, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, about the app being out of date and stuff like that. So there is an error. Cartown Streets needs more than 5, 12 megabytes of RAM to run optimal gameplay. You might experience some problems. So that's because I'm on a 64-bit device and it doesn't really know how to register that stuff. So this is going to get interesting to get running. But I'm hoping to make a part two of this video so we can at least see if there is any way to make this work. There is another game that's very similar to Cartown Streets. Uh, it's Overdrive City, I want to say. Yeah, Overdrive City. It's very similar to Cartown Streets, just like an updated version made by Gameloft. It's fun-ish. It's basically Cartown. And supposedly, talking to the developers of this game a while back on Discord, um, because they made a Discord for the game specifically. I actually do not have it installed. That is a fat lie. Uh, they didn't know about the existence of Cartown, which I find kind of hard to believe, but I still feel like Cartown is the better game than this. So I'm going to hope to make a part two to this video because I want to somehow make this connect to a server. So let's put our brains together and try. At least it'll be an idea and we'll have some kind of base to go off of. And then we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.